You mentioned previously your love for acting and going to a performing arts uh, high school. You've been in not one, but two like viral ads or videos yeah. on YouTube that have received what millions right. of views. How does that happen? Well, you know, my acting career kind of got kickstarted by studying directing. That's the irony because um, the person who directed It's Time, which is uh, an advertisement supporting marriage equality, was one of the directors I went to film school with. His name is Stephen McCallum. So he saw me acting and then he kind of got the idea to put me in this short. And it was produced by another guy, Peter Slee, who I also went to film school with. Um, and I got to tell you, you know, that two minute piece, it's time. I mean, yeah, I think it's had like almost 17 million views on YouTube. Madonna shared it, Stephen Fry. Um, oh my God, I got my own float in the Mardi Gras in Sydney. Literally, you know, in front of a million people, I was there on a float waving. Like, how cool! it, it was so cool. It was so surreal. And it was a political ad. It was basically supporting same-sex marriage, which was not legal at the time in Australia. It is now, thankfully. Um, it's crazy to say, this will probably never happen again, but it was crazy being involved in something that actually did shape the way people voted. You know, it, it possibly, we would like to think, had some effect on policy, which is, is a pretty crazy situation to be in. But what I will say is, um, we had a positive message in that short. It was all about love. It was all about equality, tolerance. And um, it really showed me the power of short form content on the internet because I'd spent years making these documentaries. But once that little two minute piece came out, in 24 hours, my life was changed. People now wanted to hire me as an actor. People were interested in what I was doing. It was like a game changer overnight. So. It just goes to show sometimes a short little piece of content, if it hits people in the heart, can open a lot of doors. So when uh, Stephen, is it the director, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, released it, um, he let, I'm sure all of you know, and then how soon after did like people start emailing you and I'm sure you were recognized yeah. on the street. Well, it? It was, so it was released by a company called GetUp, who are kind of this activist organization uh, in Australia. Um, you know what? It was pretty instant. It was one of those things It went viral. I guess it got to a million views in a day or less. Wow. So for me, it was instant. It was being recognized in the streets. It was people coming up to me, you know, and like telling me that they were, um, you know, like people said that they came out of the closet, you know, because they saw the ad. Like they hadn't told their family and wow. the ad gave them the inspiration to do that and made them feel like it was okay. And that was the, you know, that's the best praise I've ever got for anything I've been involved with. I'm sorry, I'm a little, you know, I feel emotional because it really connected with people. And that was like what we hoped when we made it. We hoped it would touch people's hearts and make people feel it was okay, you know, just to be who they are. So hearing that back was the best part. And it was, it's the nicest thing that's ever happened in my career, honestly, being a part of that. Yeah. And how soon did it take for it to get to the 17 million? <laughs> you know, it's just kept creeping up. And, you know, there's still places in the world where obviously it's not legal. So it's kind of been this evergreen piece of content. And um, yeah, it continues to be seen. We're so proud of it. And uh, yeah, I still see it popping up. I still get recognized in the, in the streets for it to this day. So it's, it's really been cool. Yeah, I hope people can, uh, we'll, we'll put a link to it and great. see yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, it's a great it's piece of work. And Stephen McCallum did a great job directing it. Michael Pont and Peter Slee, great producers. Get Up were amazing, great team. Yeah, no, it's very heartwarming when you see it. And you don't totally know, well, I don't want to give it away. So right. I, 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 I recommend people check it out. So. Yeah. Then you had a second one go viral, did you? Was it a second ad or something? You know, I made a film about depression called All Blacks Don't Cry. And I, I played my childhood hero, John Kerwin. He was a famous World Cup winning All Black. And he almost lost his life because of his struggle with depression. So I made a short when I was a lot younger about that. And, um, you know, again, too, I, I guess I've been drawn to making entertainment that can change people's minds about issues or do reflect the world that we're in and do reflect social issues. That is something that excites me. Now, the most important thing is to entertain people. But if you can make them think about an issue or maybe change their mind, that's that's pretty cool, too. So then um, that one has over a million views. Or Let me see. You know what? That one probably is only around 100,000. 
Oh, okay. That's yeah. so good, though. Yeah, That's no, so it's, it's been good. It's been good, and it's it's helped people be very open about depression, which is which is great, you know. Because asking for help is the first step with depression, you know. And that's something I've experienced myself, and it's something that, you know, trying to be a filmmaker, if you have some underlying anxiety, it'll bring it out in you because it is a hell of a challenge. Um, but the day that I asked for help was when I started to get better, and um, you know, I haven't been depressed in a very long time because I put a lot of energy into my mental health, yoga, meditation. Um, I drink very little, you know, these are all things that help me as a filmmaker. Cause I feel like I, you know, I gotta, I gotta be at my best cause it's a tough industry. So looking after myself is how I've been able to have a career with some longevity. Yeah. Cause there's so many opportunities to become depressed with doing this, whether it's you don't get a role or you, something falls through. It's, it's so easy for little things to happen and then, or you make a great film, it's done, it's out there in the world, and now what? And it's like, who cares, right? It feels like that's it, the case. It can yeah. feel like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Um, this game is all about perseverance. You know, you have to be an energizer bunny. You just have to keep going. Um, but for me, I can see my whole career ahead in my mind. You know, so I'm always moving towards that. It kind of pulls me forward. That's fine for me. But when you're working with other people, you have to inspire them too. And I guess the thing I would say to filmmakers who are trying to get funding or trying to get an audience, trying to get people to work with you, make it all about what they're going to get out of it. Don't talk about what you're going to get out of it because it's obvious what you're going to get out of it. If you make a film that wins awards or makes money, educate people about what they're going to get out of it. That's something that's helped me get financing, get films made. And um, that's been critical. Like I can tell you a story about, you know, when I went to um, my high school, right? When I was 17 years old or 16 and I wanted to make my first documentary and I had to convince them to let me work on it three days a week. So I'd miss school for three days, right? I'd go to school two days a week. I'd work on the documentary. I was so arrogant. It's almost embarrassing now. But I said to them, this is a good thing for you because I'm gonna get great results, I promise you. I'm gonna get between 95 and 100 for my final mark in high school. Um, but I'm gonna make this film that's gonna be super successful. It's gonna win awards, it's gonna to go to festivals. It might take a while, but it's all gonna happen, okay? And when it does, you are gonna be seen as so avant-garde and that you really did support the independence and individuality of your students, which is what your school was meant to be all about. I said this to my principal, Margaret Markham. I'm so embarrassed now, I was so cocky, but it worked and she even found $5,000 and gave it to me. And she gave me that independent learning contract so I could go to school two days a week and work on my first documentary. And I look back on that. The reason she did it is because I told her what the school would get out of it in the long run. Not me, but the school. So that is my number one tip for pitching and financing. Tell your prospective financier what they're gonna get out of it. That's great advice. And then you, did you have certain things you had to present to her by a certain time too? Absolutely, you know, and I had to get great marks academically. I mean, I put myself under a lot of pressure with my arrogance. Luckily, it did all work out. Um, I kept them up to date. I told them how the production was going. And then eventually the film kind of caught fire, you know, and it went to the Berlin International Film Festival. It won an audience award. Um, and so they were delighted. They were really delighted. But it was funny. It's like everything I kind of said would happen did happen. So I, again, you know, I'm not, you know, positive thinking and all that stuff can be a bit of a cliche, but I do believe in manifestation. I do believe as the director of a project, you have to hold in your mind where it's going to go and then transmit that belief to people. And I've been lucky, you know, I have an amazing producer, Jonathan Green from Australia, who I've worked with since I was 16. So I've had that one person always backing me and believing in me. And, um, you know, I would say if you're just starting out as a filmmaker, you probably do need one person in your corner. So find a producer who believes in your talent and will support you and be tough on you and make you work hard. That relationship will be critical in making work over time.